Hey, y'all. Welcome to the Weekly Energy Report. I'm Peyton with Peyton Energetics, and I'm a Pleiadian channel and starseed coach. So as we look at the energies that are going to be rolling in over the next week or so, we have entered some very interesting times. And so what we are noticing in these energies is that we are getting blasted with solar and galactic energies. We can see that in all of our space tools. And if you're like me, you probably follow space weather more than actual weather. And that always just helps us understand what is going to be happening energetically. So as we're seeing this intensification of solar and galactic energies hitting the planet, one thing that can be really helpful as we move through these energies is to connect our bodies with the energy of the planet. This is something the Pleiadians have been talking a lot about lately, how important it is in these energies for us to be connecting with Earth energy. And for a lot of us, we're not always super crazy about that, right? Especially if you're a starseed, connecting with the Earth energy or grounding our bodies to the planet is something a lot of us are a little iffy about. Because over the past three to five years, Connecting our bodies energetically to the planet has been kind of an uncomfortable experience because what can happen as you do this is you can tap into and feel all the pain of the human collective. All that trauma that humanity has stored up over thousands and thousands of years is sitting there in the planet. So for a lot of us, when we would try to connect with the earth energies, It just felt terrible. We just didn't like to do it. So if you are an empath or a sensitive or a starseed, you may be someone who is just not crazy about tapping into the earth energies. But with the energies that are entering the planet right now, it's really, really important that we start to do this. Start to reconnect with the planetary energies. And here's the good thing that's happening now. We have gotten far enough along in the splitting of the timelines, which I've talked about in lots of videos. So y'all know what I'm talking about when I mention that, that the energy of the planet feels very different now, much different than it has over the past couple of years. So if you're someone who just isn't crazy about grounding into the earth energies, and if that is you, I feel you. I have been the same for about the past three years where I just really didn't want anything to do with grounding into the planet. It felt too uncomfortable. But lately that has all shifted. We have moved away from a lot of the denser human timelines and collapsed a lot of these timelines, moved away from them. So the energy of the planet has shifted. So if you are trying now to connect with the energy of the planet, you may notice that it feels very different. It's not that uncomfortable feeling that it has been for the past couple of years. And lately, I have been very, very pulled to start grounding into the earth again, which, as I mentioned, I haven't really done in several years because it just didn't feel good to my body. And I've noticed that with a lot of star seeds as well. But I've been very pulled to start doing it again, to start reconnecting with planetary energies. And I can tell you guys, it feels totally different. So it is starting to now feel nourishing to us, to actually feel good to our physical bodies, to feel like it's actually safe and stable which is something it hasn't always felt like. So this is something that the Pleiadians really wanted to encourage us to take advantage of in these energies. Because the more we are connected to the energy of the planet, the more we're going to be able to move all of these really intense energies that are hitting us right now, we're going to be able to move them through the body a lot easier. So they will move through us, flow into the planet, which is how they're intended, how things are intended to work. But if we're not connected with the energy of the planet, there can be a tendency for these energies to get stuck in us. And that's when we start to notice things that sometimes we call ascension symptoms, where the energy is just not moving through us properly. So connecting with the energy of the earth especially if you haven't done it in a while, is going to be really, really helpful in moving through these always increasing solar and galactic energies. Because as the peas like to tell us, things are only getting stronger. 
This is the new normal, y'all. So if you can connect yourself to the energy of the planet, it's going to help you move these energies through your body much more comfortably. And the second really cool thing that happens as you start to connect more with the energies of the earth is your manifestations speed up because we have to be connected to the energies of the planet in order to create anything here. That's just how things work in the earth realm. So as we start to connect more deeply with the planetary energies again, after we've taken a little break, some of us from doing that, you start to notice that your manifestations get much, much faster. I am noticing now that things are manifesting almost instantly. And couldn't say that when I wasn't as connected with the earth energies, but it served a purpose over the past couple years for us, some of us, that is, to just step back from that a little bit. But now we're being called to reconnect, to tap back into those planetary energies. And it's going to really help support your body as well. That's another wonderful thing that happens as we connect with earth energies is it takes a lot of the energetic stress off the physical body. So if your body is still feeling a little beat up from these energies, getting in connection with the earth is usually going to be very helpful to that. So you can do this many different ways to connect with the earth energies, whether it is just using a meditation to ground to earth energies. And if you need a great meditation to help you do that, grab the one that is on my website. I have a great meditation up to help you guys through some different options and techniques for grounding your energy. So if you need a little boost on that, make sure you grab that meditation. The link is in the description, but you can also connect with the earth energies by just getting outside. And of course, this depends on the season that you happen to be in and where you live. But most of us can find some way to get out in nature. And when you do that, the energies of the planet will actually start to strip away any energy that is overloading you. So it's a great reset for the physical body. So getting in contact with nature, whether it's going for a walk or a run, or as I have been bizarrely called to do recently, get out and garden. That is a great way to actually be in contact with the planet. So this kind of contact with earth is really going to help you as you move through these energies. It's going to help your body out a lot. So that's one of the main things that the peas wanted to share with us about this week's energies and what we'll be seeing over the coming weeks and months. So we're going to be very, very supported the more we're in connection with the planet. So that's what is going on in this week's energy. Let me know in the comments, how are you doing in these energies? Drop that in the comment box. And while you're down there, don't forget, hit the subscribe button and the like button if you haven't done that yet. I'll see you next time. Bye, y'all.